Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. So today we are doing another this or that video. This is one that is a little bit different because I don't have a necessarily specific category for this. I've broken down a lot of categories from your leave-ins, primers, creams, um, gels, custards, mousse, foam, all that different stuff. Like all those are individual categories. But this one I do not have a specific category for because it kind of combines two categories and that is cream gels. I have two cream gels here from Sultanicals. We're going to be taking a look at these. This is the Curl Blaze Hair Glaze and this is the Afro Gelato Coil Enhancing Plant Gel. Now I had gotten the first one, the Curl Blaze Hair Glaze, a couple years ago and this is like a cream gel. It gives you some moisturizing, gives you some clumping properties and is a lightweight moisturizer, I would say, in my opinion. And then I would pair it with a harder hold gel on top. That's the only way I've really done this. I've never used this as a one and done styler. And this one, I haven't used at all. I bought this like a year after getting the Curl Blaze Hair Glaze. And so we are going to be experimenting. I initially thought that these were going to be more similar than not, just maybe a different scent. So I'm not, I had no business really buying this one. I really had no business. Um, and I have so much of the curl blaze, but we're going to see what the difference is, if there's any difference in them. There is a slight difference in the ingredients. We'll get to that a little bit later, but we are going to get into what a cream gel is supposed to give you. And then while well, I'm suctioning off my hair, and then we are going to begin applying these products. Basically, if you take the idea of what a cream is, which is supposed to help smooth and soften your hair and promote curl clumps and give you a slight definition, maybe a little flexible hold, and then combine that with the properties of a gel, which are supposed to give you more hold and potentially help prevent weather from affecting your hair, like blackout humidity and such. Combine those two ideas together and that should be what a cream gel is going to give you. All right, I'm going to start out with the Curl Blaze Hair Glaze and this is a very liquidy product, by the way. Can you hear that? Both of them are pretty liquidy. Let's start out with the scent of this here. Let me try taking the cap off. This has a strange scent. I'm not really sure. Maybe a little bit fruity. I'm not exactly sure. I can't place my, I, I can't describe it for you. I apologize. But it maybe has a slight bit of a fruity scent. Now this is extremely watery, liquidy. And I'm going in with a decent amount. I think I'm going to apply some now, brush it in, brush style it in, and then also after I've brush styled it, scrunch in a little bit more at the end. So I'm going to give you the specs now and continue on with the brush styling portion of this. This is the Sultanicals Curl Blaze Hair Glaze. Slip into natural hair bliss with this moisturizing, shine enhancing, oh so curlicious plant based hair gel. Defined with defined with blue malva, marshmallow root, and acacia honey, and silking smooth plant gum to create a pH balanced, fruits free, hydrating experience, certain to hold your curls in heavenly cloud nine. Awesome slip and crunch free. The directions say to apply an ample amount to freshly washed hair, part soaking wet hair with fingers and distribute from root to tip of your hair, and make sure your hair is wet while using this jelly, and allow your hair to air dry. Okay, so I had initially planned on like clipping my hair up in the three sections, like the three layers working up my head, but I just felt like that wasn't going to work out the further I got into trying to do this video. So we're just going to do her old fashioned split style brush styling. And I will say that as I was applying this product, I'm going in with the second amount since I've brush styled the first part in, but as I was applying this product, it really seemed to soak into my hair a lot. Like I didn't feel like I had maybe even enough on. And I could have gone back in with more at that point, but I want to do the rest of it now. And I think I'm going to go in with even a, a third amount. Like I said, this is really liquidy. So I'm going in with about a quarter sized amount each time, but it spreads out pretty fast. So it doesn't take long to get to a quarter sized amount. And when I was brush styling, this did not have much slip. I did not feel like part of that had to do with how much it felt like it just soaked right into my hair. My hair is wet. It was pretty wet. Like you can see 
my robe is very wet but it's just it didn't feel like I had enough water or moisture in my hair as I was brush styling basically the side is pretty wet I'm just going to go in with a quick spray more and then we'll get into the afro gelato real quick before we get to applying I'm just going to smell this this has a very similar scent a very similar scent to the curl blaze so and once again this is really liquidy as well so we're just going to begin applying this this has a little bit more of a whiter color to it but i'm going in with about that nickel sized amount or not nickel sized i'm sorry quarter sized amount this is the Sotanicals Afro Gelato Coil Enhancing Plant Gel. This coil enhancing rendition of our hair glaze is especially for wash and go lovers. Botanical goodies stimulate the coil pattern while the plant gum tames the frizzies and achieve moisture, shine, and hold in one. The directions say for best results apply the Afro Gelato to soaking wet, freshly washed hair. For tightly coiled hair, use a leave-in conditioner and then apply the Afro Gelato to soaking wet hair in small sections and smooth each section with your fingers from root to tip. Okay, I went in with a little bit more water again at the end. I did like the application of this one initially. I felt like I felt a little bit more moisture, a little bit more slip to my hair. Definitely more slip to my hair. But I'm still going in with another coating. I'm gonna scrunch this in and I think I will still go in with a third shot. Because this is my only holding product, that's why I feel like I'm going in with a little bit more. If I was using this under another styler, then I wouldn't go in with so much. This time I went in, the third time I went in with a little bit less, I would say this is a nickel sized amount rather than the quarter sized amount. As I've been like applying these two sides though, I get to this point where I've applied the third amount, I don't feel like I feel any more on the Afro Gelato side versus the Curl Blaze side. So they feel similar now, like they feel pretty much the same. Okay. Now that I have both sides done, I think I was debating if I was going to put like my shower cap on and wet plop, but I don't generally like to do that when I'm mixing two different sides. So I think I'm just going to Go right into diffusing actually. I'm not even going to give this any time to set in a cast because I don't want my hair to be elongated. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'll be back after I've done diffusing. All right, curl friends, I am back with my hair fully diffused and let's take a closer look at these results. So once again, this is the curl blaze side. And this is what the underneath is looking like. And then this is the Afro Gelato side. And this is what the underneath is looking like. Okay, so to start off with, I do have some conflicting results here. I feel like as far as the curl blaze side goes, I feel like I have more frizz here. It's not laying quite as well, in my opinion. It's, it's just a little bit more flat. But I like the underside, the curl definition of the underside a little bit better. And then as far as the Afro Gelato side goes, I I like the way it's laying better. I feel like it's less frizz, but I don't like the underside quite so well. I don't feel like the curl pattern, it's, it's just a little more stretched out, I feel like. But I don't feel like it's hanging any longer necessarily. I, I don't see like, the side doesn't shrunk up anymore. Anyways, all that to say, they do have some similarities. They are both very soft. They both had a slight cast as I was drying my hair, but, but very slight. It almost didn't feel like a cast, more like a coating, so to speak. But I did scrunch out with some oil and it's completely broken up. So that it really actually wasn't even there after I had finished diffusing. Another similarity that both sides had is that the drying time, they were both a very short drying time, which I expected as a single styler and a lighter weight styler at that. I expected these to not take long to dry. Another similarity is that I can still smell the scent of these products faintly. I will say that, but I can still smell the scent and they were both like a similar scent. So 
I don't know that one side is necessarily smelling stronger than the other. I can't determine that. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that I do believe both of these products are currently not available on the Sultanicals website, or at least at the time that I am filming, they're not available. I'm not sure. I know she's had the Curl Blaze on and off throughout the years. Like, I don't know when exactly this one comes and goes, so I'm hoping she'll bring it back in the summertime. And then for the Afro Gelato, this one I bought at the end of last summer. I think it was like later July, maybe August. I can't quite remember, but I'm hoping she'll bring that back. That's one thing with Sultanicals. I can never tell when she's going to have certain products. Like some products you could tell kind of when she brings it back like that. My favorite, what is it? The Healing Hibiscus hair mask. I love that hair mask. And she usually brings that around in the springtime. I know she brought that back a couple months ago. I think it was maybe like March time. And so that's one that I usually look for in the springtime. And usually like her pumpkin kaolin, the clay mask and pumpkin things, you know, are in the fall time. But some of these, I just, I don't know. Let me know what you think about Sultanicals. Do you guys have any thoughts on that? I really like them as far as some of the products that they come up with. They come up with some very creative and unique products, I feel like that work great. There's some products that I'm not impressed with generally, but a lot of the products I really do like. But the problem that I have is that I never know when something's going to be a bit available. They sell out quickly. Like I know she restocks on Fridays. So most of the products are, you know, full early Friday, but as the week goes, even as Friday goes, depending on what the products are, you never know when you're going to be able to get a chance to purchase them. So that is kind of a downside, I feel like. And then with her seasonal or limited edition items, you never know when she's going to bring something back or if it's when it's gone, it's gone. So let me know what you think of Sultanicals and let me know what you think of these lighter hold cream gels. Yes, these are lighter hold. I don't really expect them. I am going to hairspray, but I don't expect them to hold up past day two, really. I'll probably be pulling my hair up then, if not later tonight. I should probably give you a look at the back of them. Keep in mind, I did do that brush styling that kind of splits your curls, so they're not going to look very cohesive in the back. But let me give you a tour of the back of my hair. And maybe before I go, I should actually wrap up which one I prefer as far as, since this is a this or that series, I, I think I prefer the Afro Gelato. So this goes to show that don't always be intimidated by the, the title. Like my hair is not coily. So don't be intimidated necessarily by the title. Oh, another thing before I go, I said I would look into the ingredients on here. They do have some similarities. They do have distilled water as the first ingredient. And then that distilled water is infused for the curl blaze. There is a blue mal malva, I'm not sure what that is, and marshmallow root. This one on the coil enhancing side has the distilled water, as I said, and it has the nettle, marshmallow root, and horsetail. They both have aloe vera juice in it. They both have the gorgum. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. They both have coconut oil. And then throughout the list, there are some other differences, but there are some similarities, especially at the top of the list. This Afro Gelato one is glycerin free. So if that's something that you're interested in, especially I know during the humidity, a lot of times curlies are aware of that. But overall, if I was going to wrap it up as to which side I like better, which product I would probably prefer, I would choose the Afro Gelato side. I just like the way my curls are laying here better. I mean, I did like the underside of my curl blaze, but people don't see the underside so much. And so as of this point of what most people are seeing, I choose the Afro Gelato. But either way, I would still probably pair a harder holding gel with this. In the summertime, I could get away with using this as my base. And then, like I said, apply the harder holding gel. In the wintertime, I'm not sure, like during the really cold months, if I could get away with using this. I might be able to, but it might not stay moisturized as long. I might feel like I need to add like a little leave-in spray later throughout the week. But that's where we're going to wrap it up with these products. So let me know what you think of these two in the comments down below. And let me know what your vibe is with Sultanicals. Once again, do you even consider them? Do you shop with them? I know some of you really do like them, but I want to know what my general audience likes as far as Sultanicals because, yeah, I just want to get a feel for how you guys think about that brand.
And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye. Thank you.